Bible reading is from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast. To my shame, I say that we were too weak. But what anyone dares to boast of? I am speaking in foolishness. I also dare. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I am talking like an insane person. I am still more with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, far worse beatings, and numerous brushes with death. Five times at the hands of the Jews, I received forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. I passed a night and a day on the deep. On frequent journeys, in danger from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own race, dangers from Gentiles, Dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at sea, dangers among false brothers. In toil and hardship, through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through frequent fastings, through cold and exposure. And apart from these things, there is the daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is led to sin, and I am not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. Responsorial Psalm from all their distress, God rescues the just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal. But store up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys nor thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, will your heart be the lamp of the body is the eye if your eye is sound your whole body will be filled with light but if your eye is bad your whole body will be in darkness and if the light in you is darkness how great will the darkness be What do you treasure and seek after the most? What do you value above all else? Jesus offers a treasure of incomparable value and worth, but we need healthy eyes, good spiritual vision to recognize what is the greatest treasure we can possess. 
what Jesus said about seeking treasure made perfect sense to his audience. Keep what lasts. Aren't we all trying to find something with treasure in this life in the hope that it will bring us happiness, peace, and security? Jesus contrasts two very different kinds of wealth, material wealth and spiritual wealth. Jesus urges his disciples to get rich by investing in wealth and treasure, which truly lasts, not just for a lifetime, but for all eternity as well. Jesus offers heavenly treasures which cannot lose their value by changing circumstances, such as diminishing currency, damage or destruction, loss or theft. The treasure which Jesus offers is kept safe and uncorrupted by God himself. What is this treasure which Jesus offers so freely and graciously? It is the treasure of God himself the source and giver of every good gift and blessing in this life, and the kingdom that will endure forever. The treasure of God's kingdom produces unspeakable joy because it unites us with the source of all joy and blessings, which is God himself. God offers us the treasure of unending joy and friendship with himself and with all who are united with him, in his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have the words of everlasting life. May the light of your truth free me from error and sin and deception. Take my heart and feel it with your love, that I may desire you alone as my treasure and my all. Amen. Amen.